chosen was where you were where you were where you were where you were chosen was back with another powerful and productive video right great yes chosen one oh yes chosen one let's do our smiling exercise for the day right let's smile let's put some smile on our face no matter what we're going through right now right let's forget about our problems our challenges the stress that we we've been going through right and let's use some few seconds to smile okay let's do it let's go That's so beautiful. That's so gorgeous. That's one of a kind. Yes, chosen one. You are conquering with your smile. I'm telling you. Make it a point to smile more within the day. All right? Great. And that is life. Life is beautiful when we make it a point to keep on smiling. That is just by the way, chosen one. You read the title of this video, right? Great. Yes. Your vision is a threat to them. Yes, your eyes are very powerful. Yeah, permit me. I will explain in this video. And that is why you got to make sure you watch the entire video. Because this video is going to bless your life. I'm telling you, chosen one. Yes, when I say your eyes are powerful, I'm not talking about these physical eyes of yours. I'm talking about your eyes of faith. Your spiritual eyes, your mental eyes, that is invisible to this physical, right? That is what is powerful. And that is what your vision is being driving, is being driven by. Okay, so it makes it very much powerful. Your vision to become great is a threat to them. Your vision to become self-reliant, independent, is a threat to them. Your vision of supporting and helping the needy, the less privileged, is a threat to them. Your vision of becoming who God has chosen you to be is a threat to them. Your vision of becoming successful is a threat to them. Your vision of making passive income, your vision of growth, your vision of self-development, your vision to become your true and authentic self, a better version of yourself, is a threat to them. I'm telling you, chosen one, everything about you is a threat to them because they don't want it to happen. And that is why there is so much attack on your life. The attack is not to destroy this portal of yours, this body of yours. The attack is against the vision. The attack is against your vision because your vision is going to bring liberation. Your vision is going to bring salvation. Your vision is going to bring redemption. Your vision is going to bring freedom to the captive. Your vision is going to deliver other people your vision is going to bring restoration your vision is going to inspire others your vision is going to motivate others is going to uplift others others are going to look up to you and that is why they are attacking your vision that is why your vision is a threat to them but if you are a chosen one you don't have to give up on your vision some of you will be like but paul I don't understand even the, mis the, 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 the meaning of vision. What do you mean by vision? Right? Is it we sleeping and then dreaming? Or having revelations? Of going into trance or whatever? Is that the vision you're talking about? No, it is not necessary that. Right? The vision I'm talking about here is the mental pictures, the mental movies you have about your tomorrow, about your future, where you go into, where you want to live, where the, your dream car, your dream house, where you want to be. That is the sort of vision I'm talking of. All right? Great. And in every chosen one, you got to have a vision. And your vision must be inspired by the Spirit of God. When your vision is not inspired by the Spirit of God, that is when, when the attack, attacks comes, your vision is going to fail. But when your vision is inspired by the Spirit of God, no amount of attack, no amount of slanderous remarks, no amount of campaign of calumny, 
no amount of I mean, whatever the enemy does to 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 tarnish your reputation, your image, to to no amount of hate, envy, and jealousy, no amount of radical shame, disgrace, no amount of setback is going to stop you when your vision is being inspired by the Spirit of God, by God Most High. That vision cannot die. That vision will be accomplished. I'm telling you, chosen one, and you have a role to play. Yes, having a vision is not just about, you know, um, wishful thinking. Wishful thinking that, oh, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want that, I want this house, I want to marry this house, this kind of man, this type of woman, I want to have this number of kids, I want to, I uh, mean, take my children to better school, give them better education and stuff. And, you know, those things are equally good, but those things are just wishful thinking, wishful desires that you have as a chosen one right great now your vision must be inspired by god and your vision must be so strong that it will propel you in taking action your vision must be so strong that it will propel you to i mean have plans strategies to execute it to bring it to pass to bring it to life when we are talking of a person of vision that is the person we're talking of oh yes that is the person we're talking of so as a chosen one if you are under the sound of my voice i want you to have a vision make mental movies mental pictures of the place you want to be of the things you want to have of the people you want to surround yourself with of the car you want to drive of the home you want to live in of where you want to travel to you want to take vacation to make mental pictures and movies of such things in your mind and let such things saturate your mind let it take your mind let it keep your mind busy for for almost the rest of your life that you will have no 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 time to be thinking about what people are thinking about you to be giving your energy your time to your enemies and your haters and the people that envy you and jealous you that you will have time on on, on social media and be distracting yourself with conversations with talks with images and with with things that are not going to help you to get to that glorious destiny of yours if you are a chosen one you must have a tactics you must have a strategy you must have you must have a plan in executing this 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 vision to to bring it to life to bring it to fruition because it is going to serve humanity it's going to be of a blessing it's going to set people free. It's going to bring a lot of freedom to you, your family, and the people you love and the people you care about and the world at large. I'm telling you, that is why your vision is, 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 is given to you. Only you understand it and only you can execute it. Only you know what is going to, only you know how it is going to go. Your vision is not given to your parents, your mom, your dad, your siblings, your relatives, your friends, your co-workers, or the people around you. The vision has been given to you and only you can execute it. Only you understand your vision the people around you they're never gonna understand your vision they never know what the mental pictures and movies you're having about yourself right great so what they are going to say is the the, the talks the, the 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 doings the things around you is going to seem like attack on your way it's going to be like words they're going to be using words to demoralize you words to i mean make you or uh, call back words to uh, make discourage you right don't give up your vision is not given to them it is given to only you and you have to rely on god to make it happen all right to make it happen don't let anyone push you around and tell you that oh this there is no way there is no way this is gonna you, you're gonna bring this to pass no if your vision is inspired by god no person born of a woman can discourage you no spirit or being can stop your vision if it is being inspired by god the question is is your vision inspired by god is it inspired by God? If it is inspired by God, that I'm telling you, your vision is a powerful vision and you have to stay true to it. You have to stay true to yourself and don't give up 
upon it. No matter what, no matter the attacks, no matter the challenge that you are facing right now as a chosen one. Don't give up on your God-given vision. Don't give up. Don't give up. Many people have given up on their vision. Anytime you have a vision that is being inspired by God, there is going to be attack. I'm telling you. If you are doing you are you are entering into a business, that that business is inspired by the spirit of God, there is going to be attack. The attack is telling you that uh this thing is going to bring your freedom. This thing is going to deliver you. This thing is going to set you free. This thing is going to benefit you and your family and a whole lot of people. That is why there is attack. Yes. When you have a vision to marry a certain man, a certain woman, there is going to be attack. It is not going to be easy. And the moment it is not easy, you should tell yourself that mm, mm, anything closer to God receives attack. Anything closer to Jesus Christ is going to receive attack. And that is why these attacks are coming. So the attacks should not stop you. The attacks should not make you to let go of your vision. The attacks should draw you more closer to God. Yes, I tell you, when the attacks that comes your way draws you more closer to God, oh chosen one, then you are winning. That's it. You are going to conquer. You are going to overcome. So let the attacks draw you more closer to God and seek, seek God's guidance, God's direction and remain focused and disciplined. That is how you bring your vision to pass. Do you have a vision? You got to write your vision down. You see, you see what I'm saying? Some of you might feel like, no, this is, uh, Paul is just saying something. But I tell you, this is backed by the Spirit of God. This is biblical. Look at what God said to Habakkuk. Habakkuk. I'm reading Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 to 3, right? Um, this is the KG, KJV bible right yeah that is uh is it king james version right all right great so i read and this is this is it he said and the lord answered me and said write the vision write the vision as a chosen one you must write your vision and paste it on a vision board or write it and paste it wherever you will be seeing it each and every time so that it will keep reminding you each and every day, so that you will know what you are up to in life. You are an eagle. Eagles have accurate vision. Eagles can see five kilometers ahead. That is why the eagle can soar so high into a high altitude. That is why the eagle is the king of the sky. Yes, or the queen of the sky. You are born an eagle. Write your vision down. It shouldn't be a just mere wishful thinking or wishful desire. Your vision, what is it? Write your vision down. Where you want to be. Have mental picture. You can support it with pictures. You can support it with, 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 with short movies. All right? And be watching them each and every day. It, as a result of a mindset, everything is a mindset. To become rich is a mindset. Whatever you want to do is a mindset. You must first have it in your mental eyes. You must first see it in your mental eyes. You must see it clearly in your mental eyes. Before you plan and come up with the strategies and tactics to bring it to fruition, to pass, to reality. Right? That's it. So, write your vision down. That is what God is telling Habakkuk. And what is good for Habakkuk is good for you and is good for me as well. So we got to write it down. Your vision. Do you have a vision? Write it down every day, every morning. Read it aloud to yourself. Every night, read it aloud to yourself before you sleep. And God will give you visions concerning it, concerning it, plans, tactics, strategies, you know, on how to execute it to bring it to pass. Don't depend on people. People will fail you, right? Depend on God. It's, I read. You say, write the vision. Make it plain 
upon tables. Yes. Upon walls. You can have war motors. You can have whatever that inspired you in your room. Paste it somewhere. Let it inspire you. Let it be directing you. You see, each time, any time, you, your eyes, you know, flash on it. You read it. And that, if you are getting out of focus, it will bring you on focus. It will bring you back to focus. If you are doing something that is distracting you by mere looking at your vision on the vision board or on the wall or a plain surface or on the table, it reminds you to, 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 to put things right, to start doing things right, to make it happen. Right? You say, make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. At the end it shall come to pass. That is your vision. That is what the Lord is telling you. And not die. Your vision will come to pass and not die. So don't give up upon your vision. Don't give up. Even if it is a threat to people, to your enemies, to your haters, to your relatives, to your family, don't give up upon it. They will try to discourage you. They will try to push you off it. Don't lose focus. Don't lose focus, I'm telling you. Because your eyes are so powerful. Yes, your eyes of faith are so powerful. Hold on to your faith and don't give up upon it. Right? See with your mental eyes. Right? See with your mental eyes and make plans to bring it to pass. Don't just be telling people. Stop telling your vision to people that cannot help you. Stop telling your vision to vision killers. Many people that surround us are vision killers. They will tell you and give you excuses and examples of people that tried and failed. And that will demoralize you. That will discourage you. So I tell you as a chosen one, keep your vision to yourself and rely on God and find out ways and means and strategies to come out with it. Right? Great. Someone would be like, but Paul, how do I go about it? Let me set example for you. I'm going to use my life as an example for you. Right? Great. Yes, just someone. This is it. Let's say you have a vision to inspire the world, to encourage people, to teach, to be a spiritual teacher, whatever teacher, whatever you've been blessed with. You have a vision. Right? Great. So now, if you have the vision to inspire the world, what do you do? You can't just inspire the world if you lack knowledge. So you have to seek knowledge. You have to read. Yes, you have to read. You have to learn. Okay? Great. And then, it's going to take you years to acquire this knowledge. Now, if you acquire the knowledge, it is not just having the knowledge. But how do you push this knowledge to the world that you want to inspire? And it takes wisdom to do that. Oh, yes. You know, wisdom is, you know, bringing the pieces of knowledge that you've acquired, bringing them together. All right? Yes, bring it, putting them together and finding ways and means to, I mean, disseminate it, spread it, propagate it to the people that needs it. All right? Great. So now, you acquire the knowledge. You have to have the wisdom on how to go about it. And now, you have to take an action. Okay? You have to execute. You have to execute it so that it will not be a just, I mean, wishful thinking, wishful desire. Okay? So, you ask yourself, how am I going to do it? Now to, I don't have any um, huge platform, TV station or whatever. Nobody knows me and I can't go to any TV station or bec because nobody knows about me. Nobody is going to allow me on their platform to speak or to talk, you know. So, okay. Now, what do I do? There is platforms like social medias, Facebook, there is Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, um, you know, Snapchat, there is, um, 
WhatsApp, Telegram, there is, um, you know, YouTube, which is huge, right? Billions of people are on YouTube. So, okay, now, let me create a YouTube platform, page, channel, right? So you create it. Okay, so what message am I going to propagate? You know about the message you're going to propagate, all right? Because you've acquired the knowledge, you, you, you know how you're going to go about it to, to push it. So you create your YouTube channel. You, call it the, you, you create the platform. Now, you have to persevere. Yes, you need a spirit of perseverance. Persistency, you need to persist. You need to have patience to trust the process. And you need to be consistent, okay? And if the consistency is not working, you intensify your consistency. That is what makes it happen. Okay, great. So you need all this spirit. And mind you, they don't come overnight. Some will come as a result of as you taking the action and you doing it. All right? When you start it, when, so now, let me, let, me, let me do it this way. Now you have the plan, you create the platform. Now you have to come out with a daily plan that will lead you, that will prepare you, that will prepare you to take action. Okay, great. So the, the daily plan, the daily goal you can have for yourself is each and every day I'm going to record one video and upload it on YouTube. Okay, each and every day. That is the goal. But the vision is to inspire the world. But you, it, it, it has to be one step at a time. You cannot just get up there. It, it's a journey. All right. So you create a platform and you start it gradually, slowly, slowly, slowly. You keep persisting. You keep persevering. You keep being consistent with what you're doing. Attacks are going to come. Yes, when I started, attacks were coming. Comments were coming. There were times even any dress that I'll put on when there is a cartoon or something on it, people read meaning into it. If I fold my arms like this, people read meaning into it. If I did something like this, people will read meaning into it. They will call me occult. They say I'm evil. They say I'm satanic. They say I'm this, I'm that. They call me all sort of names. But I knew such things are going to happen. You cannot have vision without being threat. Especially the moment you start to, to execute it, to bring it to pass, to start to take action upon it, there you realize the people that really love you and the people that don't love you. Yes, I've learned something. If you want to know that people really love you, start something that will change your life. Start to focus on your vision. Start to bring your vision to pass and you will see people. You will see that many people that surround you, they don't love you. And they are scared and afraid to support you. Yes, they are scared of what might become of you. That is why they're not going to support you. And what is in you is lacking in them. So it becomes a threat to them. Yes, what is in you that you're bringing it out is irritating the demons that are inside of them. So that is going to make them to hate you, to envy you, to jealous you, to try to pull you down, to try to tarnish your image, you know, spread or, uh, you know, uh, uh, propagate false information about you. You should know this. And this, when it is coming, you should know that it is dirty water. And dirty water doesn't stop the plant from go growing. So such negativities, negative comments and criticisms should not stop you. Oh yes, thinking is hard, creativity is hard, being innovative is hard, executing your vision, your plans to fulfillment is very hard. That is why many people choose to sit back, quiet back, watch you and criticize you. I'm telling you, chosen one. Yes, that is why many people choose to do that. Yes. So knowing this is going to come, just don't give up. Stay true to your goals each and every day. Gradually, gradually, gradually. You start from, I start from zero subscribers. Nobody knows me anywhere, but look at where we get into, bit by bit. And that is how it, 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 it's going to be. It's not just that you, you, you want to start, you have a vision, and boom, you go, you're going to go to a, t a TV station. Somebody will be interviewing you to become popular. 
No, nobody is coming to save you like that. You have to take a step, one step at a time. Every day you must have daily goals, daily plans. You must keep taking daily action. No matter what, whether I'm sick, I'm depressed, whatever, I'm stressed. Whether I have funeral to attend, I have weddings to attend, I have other things to do, I have work to go. Every day I have to come out with a video. Yes. If, if you've been following me for long, you will realize every day I, I put something here. Every day I put something. And that is what you should be doing every day. You see, such actions that I keep taking, with time, it becomes my habit. All right? And I, I enjoy what I'm doing. And that is how it pick up. Right? So, do you have a vision? That is how you start it. That is how you go about it. I know the beginning of everything is hard. Yes, because you are not seeing the ent entire staircase. Yes, and you're not going to see it. You're going to have the vision that one day you're going to be great. One day you're going to be rich. One day you're going to travel this place. One day you're going to live here. One day you're going to marry. One day you're going to have kids. You have that vision. Right. But how it is going to happen, you don't know. All right. So it starts with one step at a time. Just start it anyway. Stop procrastinating yes last year you said this year this year you will say last year don't no, don't let it be you don't let it be you chosen one chosen vessel of god don't let it be you start it anyway yesterday you said today you have to just do it just do it stop delaying your own self there are so many attacks on you so there must be this fire inside you inside your mind that will prepare you to action and nothing will stop you not even your mom your dad your family or relatives or whoever yes sometimes in life for you to bring your vision to pass you need to even block certain people not pick the cause of certain people so that you can be you and do you and bring that vision to pass I'm telling you, don't give up on your vision. It's a threat to your enemies, to your haters. You know why it is a threat? Because when you are blessed, you are going to be of a blessing to others. When you are set free, you're going to set others free. You're going to deliver others. You're going to redeem others. You're going to restore hope to others. You're going to inspire others, motivate others, uplift others. So it is not only you. You see, your, 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 your vision is going to bring freedom. And the enemy wants to, I mean, keep people in perpetual slavery. The enemy wants slaves. So they don't want you to, I mean, fulfill that vision. So that it will bring liberation. That is why it's going to be hard. But you don't have to give up. Yes. If it is easy, everybody will be doing it. I'm telling you. I inspired mo many people that they, they created it, they started it, but they gave up upon it. Some have gotten the 1,000 subscribers, they stopped. Some told me, hey, Paul, it is not easy. <laughs> yes, and it is not easy. If it is easy, everybody will be doing it. It is not easy. But don't give up. You have to tell yourself, if it is easy, everybody would, would be doing it. That is why many are called, but few are chosen. The few that are chosen are those that will push through the fire, that will push through the hell, that will push through the darkness to see the light. There is a crown waiting for you. There is a reward waiting for you. So don't give up somebody. Don't give up. Let your vision be so strong that you will, you will even feel ashamed to, to tell it to, 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 to little minds. Little minds. Right. Let your vision scare you yourself. So you, 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 you see the way you, know, you go about it. Bit by bit. Slowly but surely. Remember, slow motion is better than no motion. 
Eh? So don't 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 be going. Anything big starts little. Yes, for you to get ten, you must start from one. You cannot just start and get to the top. No, you must start from one to get to ten. That's how it is. So you must pass through the stages, the process, the steps. It all builds you. It builds character. It refines your character. It helps you learn out of experience. So even if you fail, you know what to do to get back on your feet. That's it. That is why. If someone has not passed through what you're going through and you make it in life and you give them money to start something, to grow, they will waste it. They will squander it. They will, ah, they will just spend it. They will even use it to hurt themselves and hurt other people. You know why? They don't have the, the character. Their character has not been refined. They've not passed through the process. So, know this, chosen one. Know this. All right? I don't want it to be too lengthy. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.